of the darkness, written by Matthew R. Wright, read by Henry Shi. 10 p.m., 10 degrees Celsius, wetsuit, regulator, mask, BCD. Two miles from the shoreline, 25 minutes a mile, two hours there and back. I enter the water from a nearby beach. I must be alone, I must not be seen. Result driven, I swam towards the direction of the boat, towards them. Night provided the darkness, waves provided the cover. I hide beneath them. I move forward, stroke by stroke, closer, closer. The oceans come, but I was not. This week's events looped in my mind without interruption. Horn work never recognized. Overlooked for nepotism. Pruned by management. Long term, but low level. Gone so as to cut costs, boss says. I told boss he could go cut his wrists. I reached the boat in under an hour. Really pushed it. I then waited. I listened. His family slept. Silently. Ignorantly. It was time. I moved onto the deck, through to the cabins, slowly, silently, step by step. I found the youngest, who slept alone. I entered his room found what I wanted. I ignored the others. The boy was nine. A deep sleeper. I gently lifted him. Kept in the covers. Kept in the heat. The outside deck was cool. There was a gentle breeze. The boy remained asleep. I checked my mask. Still tight, I slip under the waves into the darkness. The cold jerked him awake, eyes wide open. He tried to move, trapped inside my grip. 30 seconds, fully submerged, no chance to gain breath. He struggled, he stroked. He kicked. He fought. I remained still. I remained focused. Sixty seconds. We sunk further away from the surface. No light to see. No family to help. He cried and released the last of his air. I hummed a gentle tune. To steady myself. 90 seconds. His stroke speed decreased. Unconscious. Respiratory arrest. He stopped moving in my arms. I let go. Released him to the waves. No chance of revival. 120 seconds. The boy remained in place. Rested still beneath the surface. I turned and faced the shore. My job complete. He took my potential, my future. So I took his sons. <laughs>